Good evening, everyone. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Very fresh. I took a shower before the class because today has been very hot. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know. Class number 14. We are going to finish the course on next Tuesday. Okay, next Tuesday. We are missing two more classes. Okay, so let's see what we have for today. I'm going to share the presentation and you will see it. The topic is creating a story. That's the topic. Can you hear me well? Can you hear me? Can you listen to me very well? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. Good. So in this session, you will be able to create a story using the vocabulary learned in English classes. So now that you are in pre-intermediate level, you are able or you can write a story in English. Remember, a story has always a beginning, a problem, and the end. So we're going to have first a recalling previous knowledge. We're going to have the game Stop the Bus. Then in the activity two, creating a story. Activity three, let's practice listening. And activity four, wrap up. So let's start with the first activity. We have Stop the Bus. Have you ever played this game before? Have you played this game before? Stop the Bus? Maybe when you were in the school, bachillerato <laughs> stop, stop the bus. Did you play this game? No. Really? Not me. Nobody. <laughs> okay. Well, I will explain how this game is played. First, you need to copy in your notebook uh, this table or this chart with these categories. We, you can see the different categories, for example, na letter, name, country, food, adjective, object, verb, and animal. We'll choose a letter and you have to complete all the categories, all the columns, with a word that starts with a letter. For example, with the letter A, this is the example letter A. The name is Annabelle, the country Argentina, food apricot, adjective awful, object airplane, verb arrive, and the animal alligator. So all the words starts with the letter A. This is the example but we are going to choose other letters in the dynamic. So uh, um, in this moment, I need you to copy, to copy the chart with all the columns that are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine columns, nine columns. So you need to make a chart with nine columns and copy. Copy the category. And while, while you copy the categories, guys, I'm going to take it in them.
Eh, Alexa Samira Guadalupe. Aleida Samira. Aleida Samira is not in the class today. Okay. What about Ana Beatriz Martinez? Andrea Esther Acosta. Here, Miss. Brandon Steven Gomez. Present teacher. Caleb Ariel Rivera. Present. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Efraín Emilio. Geraldine Lister Villera. Present teacher. Thank you, Geraldine. Evel Virginia Tobar. Virginia Tobar. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Present, Miss. Thank you, Ingrid. Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia. Present teacher. Irma Adriana Segura. Present. Thank you, Irma. Host Jacqueline Vanessa, ah, okay, sorry. Host Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia, ya dijo present. Um, Jose Alejandro Vaquerano Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Juan David Madrid. Juan David, okay. Juan David Julio Cesar García. Julio Cesar Alfaro. Kevin Josías Flores. Lorena de Los Ángeles. Present teacher, I go in the bus. Ok. Luis Ernesto Cibrián. Luis Ernesto. María José Najarro. Present. Thank you. Mary Daniela Carranza. Daniela Carranza. Milagro de la Paz Jiménez. Here I am, Miss. Okay. Mirna Landos de Luna. Mirna Yanet. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Nelson Adán Cerón. Present in the chat. Patricia García. Patricia Esmeralda García. Present teacher. Thank you, Patty. And let's see who else is missing. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Coreas. Present. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Lisset Mosa. Stephanie Abigail Quintanil. I'm here. Great. Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you, Valeria. Okay. Thank you so much for connecting to the class on time. I guess you are already finished. You have already finished the table, right? The chart. Are you ready to play the game? Okay, Luis. <laughs> Luis is present. <clears throat> okay, guys. So, if you copy the table, mm -hmm. did you copy all the table, all the columns, the categories? Did you copy them? Yes, I have a question. Yes, Stephanie. 
the food is the same with fruit. Yes, food, all that we can eat, right? Fruits, vegetables, all the food. Okay. Okay, ready? Are you ready to play the game? Yes. Good. Okay, I'm going to say a letter and you have to write a word that starts with that letter in each category, in each column. When you finish, you say, stop the bus. I will count five seconds to finish your, if you are writing, and then we are going to share, okay? But you have to stop when I say stop the bus. La, la primera persona que termine va a decir stop the bus, okay? So I think we can start with the letter. Letter, letter C, okay? Letter C. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Stop everybody. We're going to try to be honest, right? <laughs> okay. So tell me, what do you have for name? Milano? Carlos. 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 Okay. Somebody else has Carlos? No. Karina? Carolina. Carolina. Okay, if you have the same as other person, you will have five points. If nobody has the same word, you will have 10 points. Okay, that is the name. Country, Milagro, what country do you have? Canada. 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 Colombia. Colombia. Oh, yeah. I have the same. The same. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Canada. Canada, okay, five points. Good. Korea. Excuse me, Sandra? Korea. Uh, Korea is with K. In English, Korea is with K. Bakoka in English. Korea. Okay, now food. Milagro? Um, let's see. Cupcake. Okay, okay, cupcake. Okay. From the Um, can you repeat, Geraldine? Cranberries. Cranberries, okay. Chinese food. <laughs> Chinese. I have chums. What about What about cookies? Cookie, coconut. Coconut, yes. Cereal. Cream and others. Okay, what about adjectives? Careful. 
careful. Clean. Clean. Colorful. Yes, Geraldine. Sad time. Clear. 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 Sandra, can you repeat your adjective? Certain. Certain. Okay, good. Clear teacher. Clear, yes, Anna. Cute. Oh, no, clever. Cute. Cute. Clever. 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 C L E V E R. Yes. Remember the colors are also adjectives. The colors. Okay, objects. What do you have for objects? Car. Car. <laughs> Many people have car. Camera. Can you repeat, Pablo? Camera. 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 Yes. Camera. Closet. Closet. Close. Close. Nice. What do you have as verb? Carry. Can. The verb can. Put. Put, yes. Clap. Applaud. Clap, yes. Cry. Yeah, uh, very sad, but yeah. Animal? What do you have for animal? Cat. Crocodile. Okay. Crocodile. Cat. Cat. Cow. Cartridge. <laughs> Those are animals with the letter C. Good. Okay, now we're going to choose the next letter. Milagro. Could you say what the next letter will be, please? Letter D. Letter D as a dinosaur. Okay. Letter D. Please start. Beth. Beth. No, sorry. In this moment, everybody's quiet, writing, and completing the. the and when you finish, you say, stop the bus. But first you need to complete all the categories, name, country, food, object, verb, adjective, animal, etc.
<laughs> if with the letter D, D as in dinosaur. Okay, I put it here in the screen, D as in Dinora. I will mention the people who were absent when I took the attendance. Maybe you have just connected. Ana Beatriz Martinez. Stay present, please. Present. Efraín. Evel Virginia. Juan José García. Present. Thank you. Julio Cesar Flo. Julio Cesar Alfaro. Presente, teacher. Okay. And Kevin Josia. Okay, Emilio. Kevin Josia, not present. Sandra Lisette Mosa. Present, teacher. Okay. Good. Who is finished? Teacher, you didn't mention my name. Sorry, I'm late. Mary Daniela. Yes. Teacher, <laughs> I'm finished, but I. I had to look for, <laughs> uh, I just help, <laughs> a little help, <laughs> okay? <laughs> ah, you are looking for the words in Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. So if you're finished, uh, you, can, you can say stop the path. Ow! Name? Nay and Phila. Wait, wait, Anna. If you're finished, okay. say, stop the bus. Okay, I'm sorry. Diga, Anna, say, stop the bus. Stop the bus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. What do you. What do you have for name, Anna? Dylan. Dylan. Somebody else? What do you have? Daniela. Daniela. David. David. Dinora. Dorothy. Dorothy. Very good. Country. Dinamarca. Dinamarca. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic, yes. Den Denmark. Así se dice Dinamarca. Denmark, in English. Denmark. Okay. And for food? Donuts. 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 That's you, okay. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Can you repeat, please? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit, yes. That that in English is date. Date. Or date. More food or drinks? Dumplings. Okay, dumping, yes. Adjective? Dirty. Light. Decent. Dollar. <laughs> Delightful. I don't know why, but I cannot hear you well, guys. I think I'm going to turn off the fan. Give me a moment. Dad. 
Star. Something new, Marie. Okay, so you were saying dark, dirty. What else? Deep. Deep. Delightful. Delightful. Dollar. Uh, adjective. Uh, adjective. Okay. Uh -huh. Straight. Dry. Dangerous. Dangerous. Very good. Object? Dirty. Yes, dirty is an adjective. What about object? Door. Dish. Okay, door. Dollar. Dollar. <laughs> Dish. Dish. Yes. Desk. Desk. Very nice. Verb. Dream. Yes. Driving. Other verb. Dance. Dream. Dream. Mm -hmm. Dear. Okay. And animal? Dog. 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 Donkey. Donkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dolphin. Dolphin. Dinosaur. Dinosaur, yes. Great. Okay, because of the time, we are just going to practice with two letters. Okay, but I like this activity because you can review your vocabulary or learn new vocabulary in different categories. And it's important, right, to increase the vocabulary the mo as much as we can. Now, in the next step for this activity is that you are going to create a story. Uh, with this story, you are going to create a story according to the words that you had in the previous activity. So you are going to use the vocabulary in the previous activity. You can choose the letter C or you can choose the letter D. You decide what letter you want to use. What words do you want to use in your story? But this is one example that I created. It's not a complete story, but it's part of the story with the letter A. So I would like, uh, I would like read it for you because it's my story. Okay? Once upon a time, there was a girl named Annabelle. She always dreamed to travel by airplane. One day, she could say enough money to travel to Argentina. She wanted to meet Messi, the soccer, the soccer player, the famous soccer player. She departed on March 22nd and arrived the next day. She was very excited to travel by plane, but she didn't know that the food in the plane was awful. In her visit to Argentina, she visited a jungle and she saw a huge alligator. She was a little scared. And then you can imagine the rest of the story. <laughs> so right now, what I, what I need you to do is to create a story, to use your imagination and to create a story in English using the words in the previous activity, right? You can use the letter B, sorry, the letter D, or the letter C, all the words with the letter C or all the words with the letter D. As you notice, I used the name, Annabelle, the country, the awful adjective, the object, the verb, and the animal. But yeah, I was missing the, with the food. But um, you can see that all those words are here in the story. So I'll give you some minutes to work on the story right now, okay? So let's make your brains work right now, writing the stories.
Kevin Josías Flores.
I think we have the first person to finish the story. Okay, Milagro, would you like to read the story for us? <laughs> okay. As a matter of fact, it's a crazy story. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Carlos. He bought a cat as a pet, a cat named Pancho. Carlos and Pancho used to travel by car through the city to meeting with Carlos' friends and eating cupcakes every afternoon. Sometimes Pancho was really lazy and Carlos tried to carry it into his arm. Very good. Thank you, Milagro. <laughs> okay. okay. It was short but very nice. Just have one observation. When you say, when you say um, they used to travel by car through the city to meet with Carlos' friends. To meet. Okay? But it was very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Pancho was very lazy. <laughs> Okay, I know sometimes yes. are lazy. You know, my cat sleeps all day long. Mm -hmm. And they're very lazy. Good. Somebody else has their story? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. We, we would love to hear your story. Okay, I hope I wrote it well. And once upon a time... There was a girl named Daisy. She was, since she was a little girl, she loved to dance and she used to do it everywhere. Since in front of her desk in home to a party and it was delightful to everyone. She was the life of the party. Then one day she gets in an international, international dance competition and she was in so many so many countries but one when she arrived it was such uh how can you say it was such an experience when she get to Denmark to get to the dance presentation place she had to get there by a donkey with a guy and because she didn't eat in the morning, she stops at a coffee shop to buy a donut. Okay. <laughs> and that's the end. The end. <laughs> Thank you, Daniela. <laughs> yeah, I see that you use all the words with the letter D. Just one observation when you use the young senior in the negative form for D. That, then you have to use the verb in the base form. Didn't eat because she oh, yeah. didn't eat. Uh -huh. She didn't eat breakfast. She stopped at a coffee shop to buy the donut. Great. Okay. We would like to hear another story because they are very interesting. One more. And then we go to the listening practice. One more story. You see, you have a great activity and imagination. I love that. Just one more. Be sure I try, okay? Okay, Anna. Okay. Once upon a time, my cousin Dylan traveled to Dominican Republic. And he was a forest where he can see a lot of dragon fruit and ducks. My cousin is very distracted. He wants to dry all can see, but he remembered that he forgot the dollars <laughs> because he he had in his backpack. 
uh, and he had to pay if he came to drive all that can see it. That's all. <laughs> Okay, Anna. <laughs> You're crossing Dylan. <laughs> okay, thank you, Anna, for sharing. Good. You see, it's not that difficult. And you can use right, uh, your English in writing to organize your ideas. This type of exercises help you organize your ideas. Now, guys, we're going to have some listening exercises, some listening practice. Uh, in this listening, it's called, Where Should You Go? It's about three countries. And they are talking about their largest city in their country and what visitors should see or do in this place. So please pay attention and take notes about the country, the largest city in the country, and what visitors can see or should see or do in this place. Okay, so just let me share the audio. Page 76, exercise 10, listening. Where should you go? Part A, listen to speakers talk about three countries. Complete the chart. One. Japan has several big islands and many smaller islands. The largest city is Tokyo. There are many beautiful Buddhist temples in Japan. Visitors should try Japanese food, especially sashimi, which is raw fish. And here's a fun fact. The highest mountain in Japan is Mount Fuji. 2. Argentina is a large country in South America. The largest city is Buenos Aires. People visiting Buenos Aires shouldn't miss the downtown area. Many interesting people gather in this area. Argentina is also a good place to buy leather. And by the way, the people there all speak Spanish. 3. The capital of Turkey is Ankara, but its largest city is Istanbul. There are many colorful markets in Istanbul, where visitors should definitely buy some souvenirs. Then they should try the delicious Turkish street food. They should also try Turkish coffee. It's thick, dark, and delicious. Most of Turkey is in Asia, but a small part is in Europe. Okay. Did you get the answers? Could you, could you play, <laughs> play again? <laughs> you oh, play? One more time. <laughs> one more time. Page 76, exercise 10, listening. Where should you go? Part A, listen to speakers talk about three countries. Complete the chart. One. Japan has several big islands and many smaller islands. The largest city is Tokyo. There are many beautiful Buddhist temples in Japan. Visitors should try Japanese food, especially sashimi, which is raw fish. And here's a fun fact. The highest mountain in Japan is Mount Fuji. 2. Argentina is a large country in South America. The largest city is Buenos Aires. People visiting Buenos Aires shouldn't miss the downtown area. Many interesting people gather in this area. Argentina is also a good place to buy leather. And by the way, the people there all speak Spanish. 3. The capital of Turkey is Ankara, but its largest city is Istanbul. There are many colorful markets in Istanbul, where visitors should definitely buy some souvenirs. Then they should try the delicious Turkish street food. They should also try Turkish coffee. It's thick, dark, and delicious. Most of Turkey is in Asia, but a small part is in Europe. Okay, so <clears throat> Japan, what is your its largest city? 
Tokyo. 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 What visitors should see or do in Japan? The temple. Uh, they should visit the temples, right? What else? Try Japanese food. Try the Japanese food, especially sashimi. The sushimi. Sushimi or sushimi. 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 <laughs> Okay, have you ever tried it? No. I have raw only tried... fish, it's not my thing. <laughs> raw raw fish is not your thing. Okay. What is the second country? Argentina. 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 What is the sixth largest city? Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Good airs, right? <laughs> Buenos Aires. <laughs> and what visitors should see or do there? And the downtown. Downtown. The, the, okay, but downtown. downtown area. They should be see or they should go to the downtown area. And. And. They and have back. a nice weather. And buy leather, buy leather. You know, people in Argentina consume a lot of meat, right? Beef. So that's why they have a lot of leather. Mm -hmm. Because they kill a lot of cows. <laughs> okay, and the last country is... Turkey. 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 Okay, what is your lar its largest city? Istanbul. 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 And what visitors should see or do there? They should. They should. They should try street food. Oh, they should try street turkey. Street food. turkey food and turkey coffee. And yeah. Now I would like to try that coffee. Yeah, full coat. Uh-huh. Yeah. Turkish coffee. And Empty. what else? So they should try street food, Turkish coffee, and but... and of course buy souvenirs because there there are a lot of markets. There, where you can buy like carpet, they are very expensive, <laughs> but beautiful carpets. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So that was the the first listening exercise. What else can you remember the speakers say about Japan? There was another fact they said about Japan, about the geography of Japan. about their highest mountain they have. Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji. The Mount Fuji, yes. What about Argentina? What other fact did the speaker mention about Argentina? That the people are very nice and- And the people all... speak Spanish. Yeah, people speak Spanish. And finally about Turkey. It's also a geography fact. It says that a big part of Turkey is in Asia, but a small part is in, is part of Europe, okay? <laughs> thank you thank you guys i think these are um good exercises for your list to sharpen your listening skills now we are going to go over another exercise another listening exercise 
The next listening exercise will be about people's problems. And you will listen to the problem and the advice that they receive. Just let me look for it. It's called Wax Run. We have some people, John, Ashley, Brandon, and Rachel. So you will listen to them talking about problems and giving advice. Write the problem and write the advice. Ready? Four people. Yeah, ready. Ashley, Brandon, and Rachel. Page 82. Exercise 10. Listening. What's wrong? Listen to four people talking about problems and giving advice. Write the problem and the advice. One. Oh, I just know I'm going to fail. What's bothering you, John? Oh, sorry, Samantha. I'm really stressed. I have my final exam in math tomorrow. Don't worry, John. You'll do fine on the test. For now, I think you should take a break. Let's go get some ice cream. I'll buy it. Nice. Two. Those cookies smell so good. I know, they do. But they're not ready yet. Not ready? I'm so hungry. And now the whole apartment smells like delicious cookies. Ooh, my stomach hurts. I'm sorry, Ashley. I made a nice salad, too. It's in the refrigerator. You should have some. Three. I'm really happy about my report. It's really good. I'm sure it is, Brandon. Hey, do you know your eyes are all red? Are they? Sometimes they get red when I spend a lot of time on the computer. Don't you use eye drops? You should. I think I have some in my bag. Four. Rachel? Rachel? Huh? Oh, sorry, Don. I was thinking about my vacation. I leave tomorrow for Gramadu in Brazil, you know? Oh, right. That's a beautiful town. I'm sure you're excited. I really am. I'm so excited. It's difficult to work. Well, it's already three. You should go home now and start getting ready. Really? Thanks, Don. Uh -huh. Okay. So what is John's problem? John, he's he really stressed for your son. For your son, for his son. He's worried about his math final exam, right? And what is the advice that her friend uh, gives to her, to him? To get some rest and uh, some ice cream. Ah, uh, yeah, she invites him to eat an ice cream. That that's nice. That's a good friend. Okay, what about Ashley's problem? She's hungry. She's very hungry. She's starving. Do you know what it mm -hmm. means? Starving? Mm -hmm. Listen, yeah. The cookies are not ready. She wants to cook it. And the cookies are not ready, right? Yes. And what is the advice? To mm -hmm. get some salad that is in the fridge. Yeah, very good, Daniel. Okay, what about Brandon? Eyes red. His eyes are red, or he has red eyes. And what is the recommendation? Eyes rub. He should put some eye drops on his eyes, obviously. And what about Rachel? She's 
he has a lot of work and he have to make to travel Brazil. Okay, she's going to travel the she's next She's thinking on vacation. Uh-huh, she's going to be on vacation, but she's at work right now and Uh -huh. She can no. concentrate because she's thinking about the vacation. And what is the advice that she receives? She'll go home and start getting ready. Exactly. She should go because it's real ready. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so thank you for listening and participating in the different activities. Now, guys, it's time for the wrap up. Well, in the next class, we're going to have really practice. But can you tell me what did you learn today? I learned to play Stop the Bus. You learn to play Stop the Bass. <laughs> yeah, and you created a, an interesting story using the vocabulary. Okay. So what activity did you like the most? Listen, teacher. The listening practice. Okay. Oh, From one to ten. From one to ten, how difficult was the listening part? One is very difficult. From one to ten? Eight. <laughs> for me, Not so difficult. It's, 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 it was difficult for, uh, <laughs> for me. For me. <laughs> okay, Anna. That's why it's important to have these listening practices. You can find more in the internet. You can find listening practice for intermediate students, intermediate learners. You can go on the internet and find more listening practice. Also reading, listening, speaking, and writing practice. Very nice. So thank you for uh, being in this class. I will see you on Monday. Have a nice and relaxing weekend. Okay, see you on Monday. Thank you, teacher. See you Monday, teacher. See you Monday, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.